So Allah tells him, go back to Pharaoh. Musa is going to say five things. He's not going to say one thing. He's going to say five things. And none of those five things are, yes, here I go, my Rabb. I obey. It's not that. It's five things. And I want you to know these five things. Number one, إِنِّي أَخَافُ أَنْ يُكَذِّبُونَ I am really scared that they're going to call me a liar. Number one, I'm scared they will call me a liar. Number two, وَيَضِيقُ sadri. When they call me a liar, I'm going to get anxiety. My chest becomes tight, which basically means I'm going to get anxiety. So number one, they'll call me a liar. Number two, I'll get anxiety. Number three, I won't be able to speak because when I get anxious, I'm not able to speak. So what was number one? They'll call me a liar. Number two, I'll get anxiety. Number three, I won't be able to speak. فَأَرْسِلْ إِلَى هَارُونَ I have an idea. Why don't you give this mission to Harun instead? Because I'm not very good at it because when they call me a liar, I'll get anxiety and I won't be able to speak properly. So I, my brother's pretty good at speaking. Could you give this to Harun? أَرْسِلْ إِلَى هَارُونَ And that was how many things now? Four. Here's item number five. The most interesting. Oh, and by the way, they have a crime on record against me and I'm afraid they'll kill me. <laughs> the, first, the first thing wasn't, they will kill me. What was the first thing? <laughs> My question is, isn't it weird that he should be afraid of being killed, but his number one fear is not that he will be killed, his number one fear is what? <laughs> that they're gonna call him a lot. You know what that means? He's afraid of being humiliated. Guys, listen to this carefully. He's afraid of what? Humiliated. Being humiliated, like many of you. You're afraid of being humiliated. You're afraid of being made fun of by your friends in school, or not that much friends. You're afraid of somebody making fun of the shoes you're wearing, or the way you're dressed, or your hair, or your hijab, or your bag, your backpack, or your height or how fat you are, or how skinny you are, or how short you are, or how, how weird you are, how your glasses are ugly, shh, listen, you are in fact afraid a lot of times. Or the teacher in class asks you a question, and you're thinking, I should try to give the answer, but if I give the wrong answer, then everybody else is going to laugh at me, or that really smart kid in class that's so obnoxious is going to look at me and say, hmm. And you're afraid of that humiliation, so you don't say anything. Right? So being afraid of the comments of other people, being afraid of being bullied, being afraid of being called names is so huge, it actually makes humans different from animals. A cockroach doesn't care if you use bad words for the cockroach, say, you're such a liar, you're so filthy, you're disgusting. You cockroach. Like it won't, it won't be insulted. You know? You, you, could, you could yell at a bird, you can, you, can, you know, have a, have a mean conversation with a snake, you're such a snake. Like you could, you could do that. It won't be, a, but human beings, we're different. If people say mean things to us, it actually hurts us a lot. People, people can be perfectly healthy, adults can be perfectly healthy, and they go to work, and somebody disrespects them at work, and they lose their appetite, they feel sick, they don't want to go back to work, they completely collapse. Why? Because of the words of other people. Human beings are different, Unlike any other species, because Allah didn't just make us creatures that need food, water, drink, shelter, protection. Not just that, we need dignity too. We need dignity too. And Musa alayhi salam is more scared to lose his dignity than he is to lose his life. You know, this is actually pretty serious in the Quran because, you know, Maryam, when she had a baby, you guys know the story? You know, when she had a baby, she was so scared to go back because people were gonna say mean things to her because of her baby, that she told the angel, Ya laytani mittu qabla hadha, if only I could be dead before this happens. Like she was so scared of humiliation, death became an easier solution in her mind than even humiliation. The reason I'm telling you this is Allah has told us in this religion that respect, giving respect, is actually one of the most important rights that a person has over you and is one of the most important rights you have for yourself. 
And there are many places in the Qur'an and in the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ where you kind of learn that actually this is just as important and just as big a crime as even taking a life itself because life is nothing without dignity. Life is nothing without dignity. In a, in a famous hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, I'll summarize it for you. He was talking, he loved the Kaaba so much, he was talking to the Kaaba and telling the Kaaba that the dignity of a believer is more important to Allah than even your dignity. Now remember how much respect we show to the Kaaba, isn't it? Nobody goes to the to Umrah or Hajj and is ever going to even imagine disrespecting the house of Allah. Right? You're in a mode of absolute in awe and respect of Allah's house. And this is the kind of thing that Allah, Allah's Prophet taught us, if you have that much respect for the Kaaba, that's how much respect you should have for the dignity of your friend or the kid that you pick on or the friend that's outside your friend's circle. You guys have your own circles and somebody's outside of that circle and then it's easy to pick on them or to make fun of them, right? But their dignity is sacred. And it's kind of ironic that you can make fun of someone and humiliate someone and embarrass someone and then Salah time comes and you're making sajda in the direction of the Kaaba. You're showing respect to the Kaaba, no respect to the dignity that Allah also made sacred. Right, that's sacred too. And Musa alayhi salam considers his own dignity so sacred that losing that is more terrifying to him than even losing his own life. That's what he tells Allah. I'm really scared of being humiliated. I'm really scared that they're going to call me a liar. He didn't just say, an yukadhibun. He said, akhafu an yukadhibun. Innahum yukadhibunani. No, no, no. Inni akhafu an yukadhibun. I'm scared that they're going to call me a liar. He was terrified of this.